Today we have visitors all the way from South India at the office. This polo over here has come from Chennai, from Wagmaster's Den. And this is probably the fastest manual polo TDI in India at the moment. And apart from looking stunning today, I'm going to tell you all about this amazing Stage 3 Polo TDI manual build. So why am I saying that this is probably the fastest manual TDI polo in India? Well because this thing, like I said in the intro, is a stage 3 build. So let's just open up the hood and you don't have to worry about using the stick over here to latch the hood because you have hydraulic struts. This is a 1.5 TDI 4 cylinder engine and it's been boosted up to stage 3 like I said. It's running a CR170 turbo and a whole bunch of other mods. I'll have to pull my phone out for that because, well, the mod list is pretty much never-ending, just like most of the builds that we cover. So, this thing is running a Stage 3 Garrett GTC 1549 Turbo, which also, which is also known as the CR170. Basically, the turbo that you find in the Passat 2-liter TDI. Uh, you have a dark side development turbo muffler delete, a dark side development hard pipe work kit, a Garrett intercooler, stainless steel decat downpipe. Magnaflow muffler, ITG air filter, Fabia VRS intake pipe with pikey mods and a Eurospec air channel as well. And for those crisp shifts uh, throughout the race or you know whenever you're driving this thing at its limit, you have a short shifter installed as well. And this thing with all of these mods produces 195 wheel horsepower. And if you do the maths correctly, that's 220 horsepower at the crank and the torque numbers are equally ridiculous 400 nm of torque now put all of this together what does this thing do in the quarter mile well on draggy these guys have been able to record a 14.45 uh, second quarter mile which was done by sai sharang one of the friends of the owners and the owner himself has been able to record a 14.69 quarter mile at an fmsci certified event so this thing is well pretty fast for a little hatchback. The tune done by Venom Performance costs 45,000 rupees and that is all for the engine mods and the total comes up to 2.67 lakh rupees. But if you thought the mods are over, well, you are very, very wrong. And if you were impressed by how powerful and how well built this thing is, well, in my opinion, the real showstopper for me is how this thing looks. People in the South have some amazing taste and this is just a testament to how good people in the South can build some cars. And this thing looks absolutely stunning. It is very, very, very low to the ground. Definitely you cannot drive it over here in Maharashtra with the roads that we have over here. But in terms of looks, I think this is one of the best looking polos that I've ever seen. And one thing that I really, really like is that it's not on your run-of-the-mill Lenzo Jaeger Dynas or something of that sort. It gets these lovely looking 17 inch aftermarket rims and they're wrapped around some sticky Bridgestone Potenza rubber. You get an R-line bumper uh, in the front, you get some really nice looking side skirts. You get a little bit of a modified rear bumper at the end, you get GTI tail lights. Uh, you have this headlight over here which has been modified uh, to look like a GTI headlight in some sort of a way. It gets Hella projectors, it gets Bi-Xenon LEDs as well in the headlight. It's sitting on MTS Technique dampers and springs with a whole bunch of other suspension modifications like it gets Eurospec top mounts, bushings and link rods. And if you notice, this has uh, upgraded brakes as well in the front. You get a 288mm big big crit which is from the VW family itself. You get some Brembo drilled rotors and AT ceramic pads and I'm pretty sure that's more than enough to stop this car. And with all of those mods, it comes to a total of 3.97 lakh rupees. And add that to the engine mods, the total cost breakdown of this stage 3 CR170 beast adds up to a whopping 6,64,000 rupees. But 
mind you this is on the extreme side of polo builds and the owner wanted to make a point with this car but enough jibber jabber let's go out for a drive and see how this thing is actually on the road before we continue with this video a quick word from our sponsor the little men from above little astronaut wallets this little wallet is slim durable sustainable and of course stylish this is my personal slim by fold wallet and it is pretty robust i have used and abused it for a couple of months i've taken it on rides treks and done quite a lot of bad stuff i've even put it to my washing machine but it still is in pretty good nick it can hold up to 13 cards it's all rfid safe and it's got two secret compartments for your two secret cards you also have a slider for your favorite card which happens to be my license and it also comes with one year warranty so in a world full of humans be a little astronaut check out littleastronaut.com This makes 195 wheel horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. And if you don't know what that feels like in such a small car, well, you need to experience it because this thing weighs I mean, weighs almost nothing. It's a Polo, it's a little hatchback. And it makes almost 200 wheel horsepower. And the thing is this feels like a very old school driving experience because This thing has quite a lot of turbo lag because of the bigger CR170 turbo that these guys have put in. So it takes some time for the boost to build up, but once it comes in, it throws you back into your seat with that 400 newton meters of torque. And the way it pulls is just relentless. I mean, I'm in second gear right now. This is my foot flat to the floor and <laughs> and this short shifter is absolutely amazing and <laughs> this is so good now yes it's not a petrol so it doesn't sing like you would expect it to but if you want a fast manual polo well there are technically only two options for you either get the 1 liter tsi manual or you get a diesel manual polo and the 1 liter tsi itself isn't a really nice sounding engine so you're not really losing out on anything when it comes to that <laughs> it's epic this thing is epic to drive and the best part is even when you look at the fuel economy gauge it's pretty reasonable for the amount of horsepower this thing is putting out and that's the cool thing about diesel cars is that you can make them fast without trading off for fuel economy and i just love the fact that this is so old school the boost just comes to you all at once and these mts technic dampers are pretty pretty nice they're very compliant and they're decently stiff i mean they're pretty stiff but if you want to build a car like this you need to have some sort of commitment to it and the brakes well they're not the most powerful brakes i've felt on a polo uh, i've recently been spoiled with the manual gt that i drove and that thing had 345 mm golf r brake so these do feel a little underpowered compared to those but i mean they do stop the car pretty well so i'm not complaining the only concern is that this car is so low to the ground with these mts springs that i'm a little hesitant to push it on these pune roads because if you've ever been to pune the roads are basically shit over here when it comes to the noise like i said it's not a very nice sounding car but you can hear the massive turbo spool and you know just whooshes and swooshes it's not like you're not getting anything in terms of the noise it's just that it's a very different noise and 
it just goes all over the place when it when the boost hits in second gear i mean you really have to hold on to it that 400 newton meters of torque just comes to you all at once and it's just such a visceral way of delivering the power and i'm glad that venom performance has not tried to make this thing linear i mean linear tunes are cool i mean they're very usable very friendly for daily drivers but if you're going all out well you shouldn't care about a linear tune you should have the most aggressive thing that you can get and this is pretty pretty aggressive i have to say This thing just goes to show that it's not always about your engine displacement or how much power you're making. It's how you optimize the setup of your car. 14.45 seconds in the quarter mile for a diesel hatchback, which is not even that sporty out of the box. It is pretty impressive. And just to put it into context, uh, I don't know when this video is coming. If it's coming before Valley Run, well, my Octavia, when I did like a rough draggy run, that did a 14.4 second quarter mile. So this thing technically is almost as fast or if as fast as a stage 3 IS20 Octavia 1.8. And that just goes to show how good of a platform the Polo is even till this date. And this thing is one heck of a machine and it's an insane build by Wagmaster Chennai and Venom Performance India. Uh, can't wait to see this thing go down the strip at uh, Valley Run this year and you'll of course be seeing my Octavia also if you're attending the event or if you've already attended it well tag us in the pictures or do something of that sort till then thank you so much for watching this video a big shout out to Wagmaster Chennai and the owner Mr. Bala for letting us do a video on his car uh, subscribe to the channel comment down below and i've been seeing that you guys haven't been checking out our instagram lately so do check out our instagram and give us a follow over there till then thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one